good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this, and welcome to my kitchen. I just wanted to pop in. I found an old video from last year that I thought you might enjoy. So um, you've had a barrage of emails from me telling you about the course, but this is something different. This is a little demo, something to maybe get you excited if you are interested in loose, realistic painting. And during Find Your Joy, I always do demos of realistic and abstract work. So this is one of those demos from last year. I've speeded some of it up. I've edited some of it out so you don't know what the assignment is because I don't want to give anything away. But it's one of the course assignments from the full course. But as I say, I'm keeping that secret. in here and sees that they would say oh <laughs> obviously you're not a very good portrait painter uh, but I don't care I don't feel bad about myself I don't feel like I wasted paint I don't feel like I wasted time I'm on a journey to explore this idea and actually now I've held it up I'm gonna keep working on this one and you know I am the world's worst portrait painter which is why I'm showing you this because I think it's important, you know, it's good for you to see me doing where I'm really out of my comfort zone rather than seeing me do what I love to do all the time and and what, what I have a lot of experience in. I used to do life drawing, so I have some experience of life drawing, but it was a long time ago and I always avoided their faces. Then I would say, oh yeah, well, I was trying to make a statement about the feminine experience of being unseen when really it's just that I didn't want to do the face because I didn't know how. So I'm just mocking in shapes so that I've got some kind of a semblance of a face. In this case I'm not going to worry about the likeness because that's not what this exercise is about but I would like it to look vaguely human by the end. work on this it's becoming more of a face it's not becoming any more tracy than it was you know i like some of the atmosphere that i've got in but a lot of it still feels very clumsy to me so let's see if i can improve that a little bit by and so in order to improve it i'm not focused on this is what it's hard to explain about not focusing on the result but you are thinking about the painting so I'm focused on the result in the sense of 
how much does it look like this and how much does it capture the feeling I want to capture but I'm not focused on the result as in am I getting it right will people think it's good is it going to be a good painting I'm totally focused on this on the paint and I'm because I'm focused on that I'm enjoying the process of learning nothing bad can happen to me while I'm learning so there's nothing to get stressed about the only time this is going to become stressful is if I start telling myself, you should be better than this. You should be a good portrait painter. You've been painting for years. You should be able to get this in a few strokes. You know, Gabriel Lipper, he'd be able to do this. He'd be able to do this really quickly. You must be a worse painter than him. Well, you know, whereas I think, well, I am a worse portrait painter than Gabriel Lipper. He's been doing that for years. And I would expect him to be able to quickly pull something together. And I would expect me not to be able to. So I'm totally engaged with the process of what I'm doing and enjoying what I'm learning. Like I love how I did the eyebrows scratchily with that brush. That was really cool. That's a cool part of the painting, whereas some of the rest of it has gone a bit... Mm. So maybe what I'll do is do some more painting with that scratchy little brush and see if that brings any more life into it, if I can find it. Portrait of a woman, not Tracy, but a woman. So I'm going to call that a win. <laughs>